What's up, y'all? This is Coach Nick. Welcome back to G1 Life Skills Academy, where we teach and prepare kids to be champions, not only in the boxing ring, but more importantly, life. And so the topic that we're going to talk about today is raising confident kids and how do we go about doing that. So before we start, uh, we have a special guest today, my son, Lotolahi. So uh, Lotolahi, you ready? Mm -hmm. All right. So... Say hi to everybody. Hi. All right, how are you doing today? Good. All right, so welcome live before we start. Do you have a positive message for all the kids out there? Mm-hmm. What is it? Work hard and never give up. Okay, thank you, thank you. And so we've been working with Lotolahi, uh, programming his mind to be positive, and uh, this is just the beginning. It's a long process, but we're excited to help him and see him develop as he grows up. And so. Uh, look like, can you let the kids over there know what the motto is? Work hard and never give up. All right, and then can you tell them what the goal is? To be the best. All right, and then tell the kids out there uh, what the most important thing in life is. Listen to God. Okay, all right, I'm so proud of you. And then let the kids out there know uh, what communication is. Communication, talking, listening, and body language. All right, and then... Also, can you let the kids know out there why it's important to have communication? Communication, you can have, have um, happy relationships. Okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. And so, Lotolahi, before you leave, do you have any other positive messages that you want to leave with the uh, kids out there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I want you to never give up on your dreams and stay positive. All right. Tell everybody bye. Bye. So talking about raising confident kids. So raising confident kids starts with the parents, it starts with you. You have to model that behavior for your kids. Whatever it is that you wanna teach your kids, whatever behavior, you have to model that behavior. So if you're trying to raise your kids to be confident, you have to be confident. You have to model that behavior for them. Uh, the biggest influence in your kid's life is the parents and so take advantage of the opportunity to mold them to impact them in a positive way and prepare them with life skills for the future so it starts with the parents modeling that behavior of being positive the next thing i want to talk to you about if you don't remember anything from this video remember this one thing so the number one job of a parent is to love your kids no matter what so whether they fail in sports when they make a mistake in school and whatever it is, they need to know that you love them no matter what. And so that is the foundation that they need to build success in the future. Now the great Kobe Bryant, great basketball player, legendary, right? He shared a story when he was young. Basketball was something that bonded him and his dad, and it was like everything. So he, he shared a story when he was young, he was at a summer camp basketball tournament and he talked about how the whole summer he didn't score one point and so he was frustrated discouraged and so his dad noticed and so his dad took him aside talked to him and let him know that you know he said son i don't care if you score one point all summer whatever happens i still love you no matter what and so kobe bryant you know so when he heard that from his dad, they gave him all the confidence that he needed to be the best player, to work hard, right? Fast forward, he became a legendary basketball player. Uh, rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. And so he shared that uh, story about how knowing that his dad loved him no matter what, gave him all the confidence that he needed to succeed and to push forward. So it's very, very important. Love your kids no matter what. So I want to give you three suggestions about how you can raise your kids. The first suggestion is try to look for opportunities to put your kids in a situation where they have success. Nothing motivates and gives kids more confidence than success and winning, right? So just give you an example. So if you're playing games, whether it's cards, video game, whatever it is that you're playing with your kids, let them win. Right, so you don't want to make it obvious or you don't want to tell them, but let them win. 
because winning and success gives them confidence. So the second thing I want to talk to you guys is about teach your kids that sometimes in life, no matter how much you prepare or how much you work hard towards something, sometimes it doesn't work out the way that you plan. And so failure is part of life and that it's an opportunity to learn. So teach your kids at a young age that failure is part of life. And you know, even though they don't, they shouldn't accept it and settle for losing, but use it as motivation to push them, to propel them forward, to use whatever those lessons that they learn from that failure, because it's going to be value, valuable in the future. So um, just encourage your kids that when they fail, don't get discouraged. It's okay. Learn from it and move forward because there's a valuable lesson that they need to learn today that they need to use in the future. And the third thing that I wanted to talk about is teach your kids that one of the most important persons that they'll talk to in their life is the person that they see in the mirror and that's themselves, right? So teach your kids to always say positive things about themselves, positive messages helps to reinforce that positive mindset to you know be confident right so always teach your kids to you know say positive things about themselves right and so in saying that you know I understand it's just not realistic for a parent to expect kids to be able to repeat positive messages over and over for like an hour right just to expect our kids to say I am smart I am brave I, you know it's just not gonna happen so what I did for my son is recorded positive affirmations with different topics like hard work, attitude. And so every night my son listens to those positive messages that repeat over and over and over in his head and it just programs him to be positive. And as you've seen, uh, he's a confident kid. I raised him to be that way. And so that's what we're working on with the programming. Um, so teach your kids to be confident and say positive messages about themselves. And when they look in the mirror or they're all alone, say positive things about themselves. And so just to recap, right? Raising positive and confident kids starts with the parents. You have to model that behavior for your kids and being confident. Most important of all, love your kids no matter what. And then always look for opportunities to put your kids in situations where they have success or they win, right? And then teach them about failure that failure is part of life and that you learn valuable lessons when you fail that you're gonna use in the future. And then the last thing is teach your kids to say positive things about themselves. Don't say negative things because negativity is like poison. And if you don't remove that negativity from your mind, it's gonna poison your mind and eventually poison your body. So teach your kids to say positive things about themselves to be positive, all right? Hope you learned something about raising confident kids um, look forward to sharing more video content with you guys and until uh, next time much love and aloha we can't control how every parents raise their kids but we can control the time and effort we invest in our kids when you set the standard high for your kids and put forth the effort to empower them they will live up to those expectations if you enjoyed this video subscribe today to stay updated when we add new videos don't miss out much love and aloha